Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover, and uh, just leaving camp in Big Bear and headed back to uh, San Diego. And I thought I'd uh, take you along for the drive and talk a little bit about what I like about the Land Rover LR4. So anyway, um, let's get out of here and head back to San Diego. And I'll talk to you about um, what I like about the LR4 and uh, maybe a few things that I don't like. One of the things, obviously, that I like most about this car is I bought it um, as a certified used car a long time ago. And it had a warranty for quite a while and um, I paid it off so I don't have a car payment and so that's a big plus. The LR4s and the LR3s uh, were made for quite a few years and uh, Ford and both Ford who had them later and BMW went through and they did a lot of work on them. In fact, a lot of parts you'll find on them um, would have Ford or BMW. And I found the rig to be relatively trouble-free. I have a 2011 LR4, and it has the 5-liter V8, and um, great engine, really super smooth, lots of power. Um, two known issues, there's a crossover pipe that um, tends to, to uh, break and can be catastrophic. Uh, it's made out of plastic. It's one of those things that actually has Ford on it. Um, the second thing is the timing chains uh, can be a problem. And I've um, kept an eye on mine and so far I'm about 106,000 miles. And so far the chain seems to be in pretty good condition. I think the key to that um, is keeping the oil changed. Uh, regularly. I do it every 5,000 miles and uh, that that certainly will help uh, although no gu no guarantee as there is no guarantee in basically any car. Um, beyond that um, uh, it's got the original air suspension had no issues or problems with it still works really well. Um, it gets, what I don't like about it, it gets like 13 and a half miles per gallon. And that kind of doesn't matter what I do. It's just, it doesn't get very good mileage. But it's got a lot of power. And um, I, I really did want the V8 over the, uh, the newer model V6s that have, um, they're not normally aspirated. Um, so I'm happy to have that engine. And um, as far as I'm concerned, if at some point the timing chain needs to be done, obviously the air suspension will probably need to be done. Um, I just have a budget for that and been saving up over the years and um, definitely would not go to coil springs, which a lot of people do on the LR4s. Um, the air suspension has an integral part with the four-wheel drive system and traction control and stuff like that and the ability to lower the car at highway speeds uh, making it much more stable or raise the car in situations where you're um, in rocks and stuff like that I just I love that uh, that option uh, so other notable things I've done uh, with the car a couple years ago I was at Menachi Meadows with a bunch of people and I had the chance to meet Eric and Wendy of Tactical 4x4 and um, they have some wonderful uh, steel bumpers and sliders and a rear uh, tire carrier so I invested in those uh, made the car a lot heavier but uh, certainly much beefier particularly the sliders and protecting the LR4 rocker panel from um, you know from messing up the rocker panel 
Uh, love the way the car looks uh, and functional functionality wise it's also really a good thing. Uh, other things I've done to the car, I pretty much leave um, the mechanicals uh, standard, I haven't done any really anything that direction. But I did add a winch um, to the front bumper, a worn winch, and uh, that's come in handy a couple times for some recovery. Uh, also a Baja design light bar, uh, because many times I'll go out into the desert and um, you know camp out there and get out late at night and so a light bar really helps in navigating uh, rough terrain and stuff uh, beyond that i did the compomotive wheels which made me able to put on 18 inch wheels versus the 19 inch wheels when i bought the truck it actually had 20 inch wheels and i cracked one of those rims as well as I cracked uh, uh, the 19 inch rim. So the comp Compomotive, which I've done a review, I'll link it uh, below in the comments for you, but the Compomotives are one of the few tires that fit over the calipers because the calipers and the brake systems on these cars are really beefy. And so that does that. I think the other is um, the new Defender uh, metal wheels in the tough ants or the the wheels that i'm aware of, that you can drop down to 18s so we've got the compomotives and uh, really super happy with super happy with the mickey Mick, mickey thompson baja boss tires they're really really uh great traction really tough sidewalls uh so today coming out of this uh, area there's a lot of sharp rocks and stuff and um don't have to you know obviously going to watch for your sidewalls both inside and outside but um, don't have to worry about that too much uh, you know that direction um, so other than those things added uh, both the ham radio and a GRMS radio and uh, have that uh, did the rear seat delete uh, which I did a small short video if you want to see that on the channel did that with some 8020 um, and it came out really good. I was really worried about it, but um, I, I'm really happy with that. I uh, got the drawer systems from Front Runner and I've done a review, two reviews on that, one a long time ago and one recently. Um, so check that out as well as the roof rack and uh, have the rear ladder uh, from Front Runner as well. So that's kind of some improvements that I've made that direction. I did run a rooftop tent for a while and I did a series on that, um, pros and cons of having a rooftop tent. Seems to be all the rage right now in overlanding for everybody. And um, let's see what else. I think that's pretty much it. Um, in my mind, I'm keeping this LR4 long term, so just going to keep uh, repairing it. And um, I just think it's a great rig, both uh, for, and it's not a it's not a rock crawler or capable of as much as a discovery, the earlier discoveries with the solid axles, but. I'm not really somebody that wants to do super duper hard rock crawling. Um, and if you take it easy uh, with this rig, you can get um, to surprising different places with no problem. So um, really happy with its capabilities. And I'm even happier with the fact that um, to get to where I want to go over landing, the car is really, really super comfortable, does great at highway speed, super, super comfortable. So um, a lot of the older Defenders and things of that nature, um, those, those things will kind of beat you to death um, as you're getting there. They're, uh, they're not too airtight, and so everything in the cab cabin gets dirty and everything. So something to be said for a more modern day cars and um, 
And then the nice thing about this is having the bigger engine, which obviously with things the way they are, um, engines, V8 engines are harder to come by, um, particularly in, in Land Rovers at this point. Um, so I hope this, um, this helps you out on your decision. Uh, don't be afraid of them. A couple other things I've had to do over the years, I had to replace the radiator, uh, had to do a water pump, uh, had to do a couple of batteries, um, did some service on the transmission, but um, other than that, really super trouble free. Uh, so don't let the reputation of the Land Rover scare you off, particularly if you're looking at the LR4s, LR3s. They're relatively um, trouble free if, if they're taken care of. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you'd like to know about them, please put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Um, I'm also going to link to uh, a couple of videos on the LR3s and LR4s that I think other uh, YouTubers have done that have done a really nice job in explaining some of the, the pluses about them. Uh, so anyway, I'm uh, going to get out of uh, this dirt road here eventually and get to the highway. And so I really appreciate you stopping by. If you, uh, if you like overlanding trips and gear reviews and stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you found this useful, I would, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And um, if you see me out and about, uh, I'm, in, I'm in San Diego area, but I travel all over uh, California and everything. Uh, don't hesitate to stop and say hi. And uh, remember, get outside.